All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the driveway engineer. It's part two, my little tractor refurb. Um, it's my John Deere 318. So a couple of things, uh, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the valves, which is not that hard. You can see there's a little lock nuts right there. Just bring the piston up number one and, uh, set the lash with a set of feeler gauges which you may or may not have, but not a big deal. Any solid cam car, same thing. Um, I'm going to verify the points gap. It seems to be okay. Uh, these seem look like they're new. I don't have a cover for the points. But uh, there's that. And then one of the problems that I found was the intake. Apparently, this is a big deal on these tractors. The rivets on the intake were popped. And it's funny because a lot of people on the internet are like, I don't know why they made such a stupid design. Well, I do because it was cheaper. It was a cheaper die to make. So this side had rivets on it, which actually look like ejector pins to me uh, as a person who is familiar with die casting, which is what this is. Um, mine was a little bit loose. Like there was one corner right here where it was wobbly uh the rivet was actually gone it, it was loose all over and there was like a rubber gasket in here so um i drilled all the rivets out it was no big deal 764 drill bit and then i'm going to i have to go get some other stuff for my toyota anyway at tractor supply some bolts and stuff um but i'm gonna go get some 632 machine screws i'm gonna drill these all the way through i'll clamp it right here in the center where the carburetor bolts and then right stuff gasket bolt it together that should be done uh it uses composite gaskets so unfortunately they're not reusable but i'll clean this up and uh new intake exhaust gaskets uh 30 dollar carb from amazon on the way and uh i don't know probably be a couple days before all this stuff comes in but so we're gonna get two new plugs valve set uh, points verified, new carb, sealed intake, and we'll see how it runs then. All right, I have the intake sitting over here with the right stuff gasket maker setting up all the 632 screws in it. Uh, the internet said these needed to be three quarters of an inch, and you can see that's way too long. They could have been half or less. Um, let me show you guys real quick. I'm doing the valves. I'm glad I decided to do it. With the way it was spewing gas back out of the carb, I kind of wondered if it had a bunch of blow by or something. Um, get you in here real quick. That lower, that's a nut, and then that is also a nut. So you hold the upper with a 5 8 and you turn the lower with a 7 16 um, until you get the clearance between basically the stem and the lifter. This side had like zero clearance. So I'm sure that side has zero clearance too. All I did was spin the flywheel with a zip tie in the plug until I couldn't pull the zip tie out. And then I knew I was at top dead center. Uh, and then I checked my clearances and I'll do the same on this side. I, I expect it to run a lot better when I put it back together. So uh, for all I know, that fuel pump might even work. We'll see. I, I, I might give it a whirl. Um, yeah. Good times. All right. So the valves are set. These are the valve covers, and they're ready to go back on with a new gasket. This is a new carb, resealed intake. It's all ready to go on. I'm not going to film outside. It's cold outside today. It's like 38. My fingers are numb. But uh, these gaskets do have away they're like kind of like a trapezoid kind of deal but yeah we're pretty close to firing this back up so give me like 15 or 20 minutes here and uh i'll have it together let's recap what i've done here i've adjusted the valves i resealed the intake i put new plugs in and gapped them i set the points correctly i double checked the condenser that was wired correctly uh as you can see like spoiler alert it already runs great i was already driving around but uh check it out it 
runs pretty well. That switch is a little janky still. I don't have an air flow filter housing. Um, this is all messed up and not permanent, but I don't really care. I'm gonna put a hose clamp on that. Let's go for a ride. Pretty straightforward to get going. A little temperamental. I'm not quite used to the uh, controls yet, so I keep wanting to break with my left foot like I do on the wheel horse. The power steering is really sweet. Like that's a big deal. I'm saying it ain't no effort at all. And we're off like a brown dress. So I just rode it down to the uh, gas station. It's about a half mile round trip. Um, I'm happy with it. It's powerful, it's faster than the wheel horse. Uh, definitely feels torquier. It's a little bigger, even though it doesn't quite look it. The power steering is a little, little extra sensitive, but it'll do. Uh, I know a lot of people are, I mentioned it, I was gonna build a loader for this, and I am, but. I need to get stuff working first, right? Like, uh, all these switches. I need to pull this whole panel off. The headlight switch doesn't work. The PTO switch doesn't work. I don't even know how the parking brake thing's supposed to work, but it doesn't do that. Um, so that'll be next in uh, part three. Probably try to get this deck going so I can mow my damn lawn. Um, I know I said I didn't really want to mow with it, and I really don't, but... I don't know, I have it, so maybe I will. Uh, also, I'm gonna move on to stuff like, I don't really care about the side panels at this moment. I'm gonna try to find an air cleaner for it. Uh, it's running really well, so, um, yeah, we'll continue on. Incremental improvements, I'm, I'm all about, you know. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and film another end to this video because I went ahead and picked up some side panels today for 40 bucks off Marketplace. Uh, that pretty much pretty much completes the whole deal. Um, I mean, it... pretty good to go now uh that ignition switch is like falling out a little bit i need to pull the panel and the plug that goes on the back of it's kind of off so it's a little janky but like otherwise it fires right up the deck works um i need to get a plow for it so that i can i think i'm just gonna sell this i actually have it listed for sale um the typical plow that's on this is like a 54. That's a 42, and that one is a little bit too wide for my sidewalk. Uh, so I think that I'll just make a 42 work on it. Uh, the lighter duty, the actual lawnmower, like if you went to Home Depot and bought a John Deere kind of deal, uh, those are 42 with the manual lift. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, if I buy a 52... Or 54 whatever it is I'll probably use that to uh, make the loader bucket so those are the few things I want to do to it now get a grill fix the ignition switch put a three-point on it uh, I'd like to three-point mount my crane my hoist uh, so I can pull it around and boop, boop, like that that would be cool um, I have a little bit of a loader bucket on it and uh, a plow and it'll be good to go for me I was surprised the deck works really well um, I don't really need it to mow but I did mow the front with it since I have it uh, yeah I mean I paid $200 for this I, I took a fairly long journey 
to pick it up. Um, the $30 carb. What else did I buy for it? $12 fuel pump. A $70 battery. That was kind of expensive, I guess. That was the biggest single expense. Um, and, you know, it's like ready for Tractor SEMA. Look at it go. So, you know, don't be afraid to get in there and, and get into something. When they say they don't build them like they used to, this is what they mean. Uh, I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to fancy powder coat this because I can. And I think it's worth it. But, uh, yeah. I'm enjoying the tractor and I'm enjoying the power steering and the speed and the power. And it's pretty cool. So, like, don't be afraid to get in and dig into something. They're simple devices, whether it's an old car or old truck. And by, I don't, I don't mean, you know, 97 or even 88. I mean, you know, 79. The same with an HEI was very simple to diagnose and get going. So, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, there will probably be more on the tractor. Some people like it. Most people don't. That's okay. I don't care. I like it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Driveway Engineer.